Look what we got here today. Connor was working on this dirt tank here and got the tractor stuck. The backhoe. So we asked the helium guys, they come out here to the ranch and they drill. Uh, you can see their stuff out back behind that tree and they've got some more stuff out that way. They're drilling for helium and anyway they're out here and they have a lot of equipment. They let us use some of it sometime and sometime they need a backhoe so we let them use that too and real cool guys. Uh, they're easy to work with and always willing to lend a hand so here they are trying to get the backhoe unstuck. Looks like they have one of those, oh, what is it called? Can't think of the name right now. I know you guys are just dying to say what that is. Um, it'll come to me. I'll, I'll remember. So, tractor was out of gas. They just put some fuel in there and see what happens oh guys I got a drone so I'm gonna get my drone set up and we're gonna see if we can video it that way I'm not that good at operating it but we'll see how it goes fairly easy for that big old thing to get it unstuck. I don't know what we would have done if these guys weren't out here, but uh, I found out what it's called. Connor enlightened me. Connor told me that it was called a winch. W-I-N-C-H. I always thought it was a wench. W-E-N-T-C-H. It's a winch, guys. <laughs> I knew that, but I just forgot it. Anyway, I want to show you our drone here. I have it in the back of the pickup. Let me show you. So here's the drone that I bought a couple months ago and I'm barely learning how to use it. It's been super windy and haven't had much time. But anyway, there it is. It is the DJI Mavic Air 2. And my friends over at 1880 Drifters, they're a really cool channel uh, based out of Utah and they do all things ranching just like us, but they have a little more rugged country, I would say. And thank you guys, Trayson, Jack, and the rest of the crew for recommending this drone. I think it's gonna be really fun for us to start using drone shots in our videos. We're gonna, I guess, let Connor get back to work and Henson and I are gonna go back to where Troy is, working the colts in the arena, and I'm gonna get some videos of Henson working the colts today. If you guys watch this video, you'll know what I'm laughing about. <laughs> so that was good, pretty smooth, huh? Yeah, Connor decided to drive it right into the deepest part of the dirt tank where there was mud. Lesson learned. Just inexperience. Yeah, he's learning. At least he's out here. Anyway, I wanted to give a shout out to our friend in Melbourne, Australia. 
his name is Sean. It was his birthday at the end of May and we missed it and just want to do a shout out because he is a very loyal fan, says his wife. And we just wanted to say hi, Sean, and happy late birthday, belated birthday out the there. The land down under. Yeah. <laughs> Put another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> Good day, mate. <laughs> What does he say? <laughs> Boy Christmas. Um, Henson's referring to the movie Dumb and Dumber. Where are you from? Austria. Oh, good day, mate. <laughs> you it out of there? Yeah. How, how easy was it? It's easy. Pretty easy. Did your tongue stay out of the middle of it? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry and old Rossi checking the ranch in the first gen. All right, we're gonna head back to the house and ride some wild brumbies. <laughs> oh, you got an Australian thing here? <gasps> yeah. Brumbies? I think so. I think you pronounce it brumby. Sean, is it brumby or is it bromby? It's brahmin. It's brahmin, hon. No, that's totally different. <laughs> okay, see you in a minute. Look guys, who is that? That is the queen, Dibs. She is back, guys. She's back from high school rodeoing with Riley. And they did really good. They actually won another round in Holbrook. That's kind of our hometown uh, rodeo grounds. And she won a round there. Here's the video. It's always super fun to win a round in your hometown rodeo. And this mare right here that's walking away from us, I haven't shown you guys her, but let's let's go see her. I have Sensei here. I'm gonna tie him up up there and let's go see that horse, that mystery horse. Ghost is getting legged up and Riding really nice. Vixen is doing great. Been hauling her to exhibitions. This is Perks. I introduced you guys to her last video. Used her on the ranch and she will also be competing in the barrels maybe by the time she leaves with me. We shall see. And there's Dibs. So I have five to ride today. Uh, Ghost, Vixen, Perks, Dibs, and this one that I have. And let me tie her up before I show you. Show you her. Okay, guys, here's Henson's new mare. We call her Yeezy. She's a four year old Bayrone mare. She kind of looks just Bay, if you can tell up close. So she has some white in there. I bet you in the winter she's gonna look like a solid bay. Well, there she is. Her registered name is Blue Water Blue Bud. She is a daughter of Mr. June Wood. And probably the most exciting news about her is that we have already handbred handbred Czar to her. So she hopefully will have Zar baby for us next year. And Zar did good with that. I think he enjoyed it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a little clip right here.
<laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah? Really? Was that fun? <laughs> yeah, there she is. She is a cute little thing. I'm going to ride her today for the first time and, and see how she feels. Henson's ridden her for probably, I don't know, three or four weeks inconsistently. But he's, she's been on the ranch and in the arena, and I get to take a spin today. All right, I've got Yeezy all saddled up, and I kind of just wanted to show my gear, my tack, I guess. Because a lot of people ask, I know we have a lot of new viewers, and this is just a plain old head stall. We are very plain, I would say classic cowboy look type people. Here's the bit that Henson uses on all the colts after he takes them out of a halter. This is a D-ring snaffle bit, two-piece, and it has the copper inlay. You can see in there, uh, it's a Garcia bit we got from J.M. Capriola. Let me see if I can see the stamping. Elko, Nevada. But yeah, Henson will go from the halter right into the D-ring snaffle two-piece smooth mouthpiece. And this is my barrel saddle. It's just a Hamley old type barrel saddle. It'd be nice to have a new one, maybe a Burns or something. But this is what I have. I only have one barrel saddle and one ram saddle. Sorry, it's kind of windy. Yeah, pretty plain and simple. There's my Epic Equine saddle pad. We have a gal up here on the mountain that makes saddle pads and she made that for me. It's just a three quarter inch felt pad. I like a thicker one, but this is also nice for barrel racing because it's really lightweight. When I'm on the ranch, I'll use a thicker pad. This is my other saddle pad she made for me and that's definitely thicker. I don't know, probably an inch and a quarter something like that. Those are for the long, long ranch days. I'm going to get riding and see, see what I think. Public safety announcement. Remember, never leave your halter actually tied right there and then just hanging. If it's hanging down there and it's tied, Four steps in it? That is dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna get off this horse. All right. Honest assessment time. <laughs> she's cool. She's really cool. For as much riding as she's had, I guess. So she came to us as a four-year-old this year, just a few weeks ago and she was green broke I don't know if she even had 90 rides yet but she's a four-year-old and I'm used to a four-year-old being a little further along sorry guys Henson is pounding the gate in the background just hang on a sec maybe he's done okay so our four-year-olds are a lot further along like Vixen, she is a four-year-old. She is already cruising through the pattern. Uh, Yeezy, time out. Yeezy uh, feels like a two-year-old. Lots of things that we can work on with her, even her stop. And I also think her teeth need to be worked on. So we'll get her uh, to our vet, to Dr. Laird and get her teeth loaded. Um, but otherwise, really cool. I think she's gonna be really cool. That's what all the banging was all about. It's windy today, guys. There's Frozen behind them. She already got ridden. There's a booger. He already got ridden. 
he was cut probably a month or two before he came and he still acts a little steady but he's good and this is Rocco he's a gilding too he's a J Hart gilding this one comes from the Spirity Ranch here in Arizona this guy's a J Hart I think he lives in Prescott There's Harley, she's getting ridden next. Uh, can't really see her through all the bars. Here is Sunny and Crazy and Frozen, like I said. And I got Perks tied up to the trailer, she'll be next. Need an impact wrench for this, for this job? I'm gonna go saddle my horse. There she is. With Loki. Okay guys, here's Ghosty. Ghost. His registered name is Heaven's Moonraker. And look at how good he looks. If you'll remember, he had a really rough winter with a cowboy down south. And his tail was like eaten off and stuff and he lost a lot of weight, but he sure looks good now. Uh, I'll put his papers right here so you guys can see how he's bred. He comes from the Judd Little Ranch. His sire is JL Dash to Heaven. Okay, so that's Ghost. I'm gonna go video Henson riding Sunny. He's riding her right now, so let's go check out how far they've come. Sunny's been here for about 60 rides or so. I don't know, something like that. Sunny is a two year old filly by Czar. Here's her papers. She is sold, but is here for riding, so. No, she is not for sale. Nice little lope and the correct lead. like she really wants to get up under herself and stop on her hind end, not her front end. So there's Sunny. When Henson's done with her, I'll take over and put her on the barrel pattern. Troy is over there riding Banner. Um, what else did we call that horse? Uh, 
What did your dad call that horse too? Uh, Tex. And I'm gonna go get Connor. So we'll come back. I don't think these guys have many more to ride. This is it. Is this it? They already rode everything at the house. Yeah. You'll wait for me till I get back so I can ride my others. Dibs, Vixen, Ghost. Still have three to ride. I'm over here trying to video. <laughs> there he comes. I fly my drone out there to see how much progress he made, but it's super windy right now. Man, I thought this spring wind was over already. Speaking of 1880 drifters, Connor's wearing an 1880 drifters cap that they sent us. Let me check out your cap. Huh? There's the 1880 drifters cap that they sent us. I think they have a merch store, guys. Go check it out. Long day? Okay. Yeah. We've been out in the wind, too. Oh, there's your little pottery. Mm -hmm. Where's your handle? It broke. It fell off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Connor made this out of the clay out here. While he's waiting for the tractor to get unstuck. That's funny. <laughs> Done with Ghost. Dibs is next. Henson's being so nice and bringing Vixen over here for me. Okay, we've got Vixen and Dibs eating their mineral before they head out. They both did a great job. And I guess that's going to be it for us today, guys. We'll see you next time.